Hello, my fellow Ripplers. This is Chris Miles, your cash flow expert and anti financial advisor. Welcome to our show. It's for you and about you. Those of you that work so stinking hard for your money and you're ready for your money, start working harder for you right now. You want that freedom and cash flow today, not 30 or 40 years from now, but right now. So you can live that life that you love with those that you love. But most importantly, guys, it's about living a life of purpose and meaning because as you're blessed financially, you can create a ripple effect through the lives of others. And guys, I appreciate you allowing me to do that. I appreciate so many of you that have reached out to us. You've been binging, you've been sharing, and your lives have been changing as a result of actually taking action on this and not just listening to these podcasts. So appreciate you guys doing that. You are seriously the best listeners around. Uh, so thank you for so much for tuning in. As a reminder, be sure if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Money Ripples with Chris Miles page. Right there, we've got extra bonus videos beyond the podcast, including little video shorts and, uh, and even little, little cool little, little tidbits and, and tips and strategies and things like that that you may or may not hear on the show specifically. So be sure to check that out today. Chris Miles was able to retire twice by the time he was 39 years old, but he's not content to just enjoy his own financial freedom and peace of mind. Chris wants you to have your own ripple effect so you can live free today. He's not the financial advisor you expected. He's the anti-financial advisor you deserve. He's jumping behind the mic right now, ready to make waves. Here's Chris Miles. All right, guys, so I'm bringing back a repeat guest, uh, someone we had on almost a year and a half ago, uh, Michelle Seiler Tucker. Now, if you guys remember, if you've gone that far back, if you binge that far back, you'll find her last episode. Uh, but she's coming back here a little bit renewed and refreshed because she's got a brand new book coming out here. It's called Exit Rich, uh, as you guys will see and hear about today. Uh, just to give you a little bit background on her, uh, this is no ordinary woman, okay? This is not somebody who just rolled out of bed and said, I'm going to write a book, especially if it's going to become a bestseller. Uh, in fact, she's done this many times before. Uh, she's actually in a uh, New York Times, or sorry, a Wall Street Journal and USA Today bestseller. Uh, she's the CEO of, of Siler Tucker Incorporated. And here's what they do, guys. Like they've helped people not only build and monetize and maximize what they do in their own businesses, but most importantly, what we're talking about today is help people sell hundreds. I mean, helped hundreds of people in all kinds of verticals sell businesses for profit, making top dollar on what they're doing. And so she is the expert, especially if you're thinking, What's my exit strategy? What can I do where this business just doesn't become just a rat race for me, uh, which is what we talk about all the time in the show is not getting caught in a rat race, which entrepreneurs do get caught into a lot, but actually something that can be a profitable investment for you. And that's exactly why Michelle's here. So Michelle, welcome to our show. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for having me back on. Yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been great to see you again. And uh, tell us, uh, what have you been up to the last year and a half now? Working, working, working. You know, last time I was on, it was for the launch of Exit Rich print version mm -hmm. uh, because we actually launched in June of 2021. We were supposed to launch April of 2020. We had to pivot with this pandemic. <laughs> and yeah. so this time um, I'm on to talk about the Exit Rich book audio version Ooh. because so many readers have been asking us to come out with the audio version now for you know, for a year. So mm -hmm. the audio version just came out May 1st and we are actually promoting it for $2.99, which was less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks uh, for the month of May. So go out and get your coffee today. Excellent. That's great. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm the kind of person that, you know, people often send me books, but honestly, audiobook is so much easier for me because, yeah. uh, you know, I can consume that while while the, you know, exercising, which I do a lot of, you know, so be able to be able to get that kind of benefit. Uh, it's, it's huge. Right. And that's what everybody says, you know, it's, it's hard for entrepreneurs to sit down and read a book, but we're mm -hmm. always on the road. We're always traveling, you know, we're always right. on planes and boats, cars, and trains and planes. And <laughs> so you can bring the audio book with you. That's right. Well, yeah. give us, give it our listeners a refresher here. Like, tell us sure. exactly what this is about. Give us some of your experience too. And, and just I mean, what, what really inspired you to write this book? Sure. So I've been in this industry a little over 20 years. Um, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. I own different businesses and different verticals. And a little over 20 years ago, I, I got into mergers and acquisitions. And I learned pretty quickly, you know, that what Steve Forbes says is true, that 80% of businesses on the market will never sell. 80%. That's really that's a, a lot. call. 
I mean, it's a huge, it, it, it is a lot because if you think about it as a business owner, you have less than a 20% chance of success. Mm -hmm. You know, those are pretty strong statistics. And so I learned a long time ago, over 20 years ago, if I don't fix these businesses, <laughs> if I don't fix them, grow them, you know, help business owners go on a path of exit, then they're going to end up selling for pennies on a dollar, closing their business, filing bankruptcy, and exit poor rather than exit rich. So right. we've been specializing in not just selling companies, we specialize in buying, selling, fixing, growing. And I partner with business owners investing my money, my core competencies, my resources. We also just launched a new program called Road to Exit Rich. And it's, it's a year program to get businesses up to speed and get them ready to exit rich because most businesses are not ready. And like Steve That's Forbes right. says, 80% will never sell. The number one reason for that is because business owners don't think about their exit. They're so busy working in their business, mm -hmm. you know, try, trying to cover overhead that they're not thinking about the end game. And that's what happens. One day they wake up and go, oh my God, I got to sell this thing, <laughs> you know, because mm -hmm. of employee issues, because of partners, partners disputes, divorce, death, this pandemic, whatever the reason is. And then what happens, Chris, is they call me and say, I need to sell my business. I'm like, okay, what's your, what's your desired sale price? Oh, 20 million. And our EBITDA, or his report interest taxes, depreciation, amortization is probably $100,000. <laughs> because they base business owners are based on the value of their business based upon what they need to enter the next phase of their life, whether that's retirement, acquiring another business, you know, they are evaluating it on what they need, not what the business is actually worth. And guess what? Buyers don't give a rat's, you know what, <laughs> about what you need. They care about what the value is to them. So yes. the reason I wrote Exit Rich is because, like I said, we've been in this industry for a long time. I've seen so many business owners go under. And this is my third book that I've written in, the, in this industry, um, Sell Your Business for What It's Worth, 2013. Then I wrote a contributing chapter in Thinking for Rich um, today. And that, that book, I forget what year that came out, and then Exit Rich. Now, Exit Rich is not just about selling your business. Exit Rich is all about building a sustainable, scalable sellable assets when you wake up one day and you have that epiphany that you have to sell <laughs> you actually have an asset that will sell for your desired price tag so the first half of exit rich is all about planning your exit from the beginning like stephen covey always says start with the end in mind it's also about building your business on a solid infrastructure so that you actually have a sellable asset and then the second half is about selling so exit rich is really good for all entrepreneurs business owners, anybody looking to start a business, buy a business. So you start it with the right framework. And yes. it, again, Exit Rich was endorsed by Steve Forbes. Uh, Sharon Lecter is my co-author who wrote Rich Jeff Poor Dad with Robert Kiyosaki. Um, and then, because I know that you like that, that, what is it, the cash flow game. So mm -hmm. Sharon Lecter, you know, helped develop the cash flow game with Robert Kiyosaki and, and wrote uh, all the Rich Jeff series. And then, of course, we have um, Kevin Harrington, who wrote the foreword. So again, I wrote this book to help business owners. It breaks my heart to see a business owner make all the sacrifices along the way, you know, and, and they're in business for years after years, but then they end up losing everything. Most business owners are not just losing their business assets, they're losing their personal assets too. Yeah. I see what you do. It's kind of like a, like HGTV's love it or list it. Yeah, if anybody's ever seen that show, right? Yeah, you know, where they go and they renovate the property for the, the homeowners and then they can either sell it, you know, hopefully for a better dollar than what they make, or they can even just keep it. And yeah. that's kind of what you do too. Cause like you said, it's not just about selling it. It's actually getting to be a real systematic business. Something where you don't have, and I think the reason I see 80% of entrepreneurs not be able to sell their business while it just goes under is really because they have a contractor mindset versus a business owner mindset. Right. They really want a good high paying income from the business they have, but they never think about going beyond it to asking the real question in my mind, which is if I were an investor, would I buy my own business? You know, if I wanted to stay away from it and, and not have to work my butt off inside of that business, right. would I actually want to buy it? And I think for most business owners, that answer is a definite no. They wouldn't want to buy that business. They would want something that's more turnkey for them. Well, a lot of them have said yes, because Everybody thinks their baby is prettier than everybody else's baby. And that's business right. think of their business as their baby. And, you know, that's why I always say it's so hard to sell a business. And that's why 80% don't sell is because business owners have not created a business. 
-hmm. They've created a glorified job that they go to work at every day. This, That's this right. works for them. Mm -hmm. And they do have that contractor's mentality, you know? And they're working in their business, not on their business. That's why the six Ps are so important. And that's why we really go into, you know, the first P is people. You don't build a business, you build people and people build the business. So yeah. it is kind of like love it or list it. But the big difference in business is you're not going to live in your, in your business forever, you know? That's right. <laughs> and, you will have to list it at some point. And people don't live in their houses forever. I mean, they downsize, you know, when the children mm -hmm. move off and go to college and stuff, you, most families downsize. So mm -hmm. the business really has to be built up in order to sell because you never know what's in store in life. And you never know what's around the corner. I had a lady that called me not that long ago from Dallas and her husband at the age of 40 dropped dead from a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Left her with a mountain of debt. And she said, look, I don't know anything about the, the finances. I know nothing about the business. Can you help me? And this, you know, this is, this happens a lot in America. Mm -hmm or the husbands run the business and the, the wives don't know anything about the finances. I said, look, I love to sell it for you, but guess what? He's a general contractor. He had all subcontractors. He had no people. He had no processes. He didn't have any of the peaks <laughs> except for profits. And so I said, no, and when he died, the business died, there was no business to sell. So you really got to start treating your business as a valuable asset that it is. You know, it kind of shocks me that, you know, we have children, right? What do we do for our children? We plan everything for their future. We plan, you know, where are they going to go to, to, to um, day school, uh, nursery school, whatever, pre-K. Mm -hmm. We plan out where they're going to go to kindergarten, you know, middle school, junior high, high school. We even plan out their college, <laughs> you know. But yeah, we don't take our business and plan for our business so it is sustainable, so it is scalable, so it can run without us, so we can have a better quality of life. And what's so funny is we go into business for ourselves thinking we're going to have more money. We're going to have more time. <laughs> we're going to have a better quality of life. But guess what? A lot of times that never happens. I mean, I just talked to a business owner the other day. He's been in business for 60 years. He said, Michelle, I haven't had a vacation in nine years. He has missed all of his kids' games, all of the plays, everything. All of the things you go into business for, <laughs> you know, business owners are making these sacrifices. So that's why I wrote Exit Rich because a lot of business owners have not created a business. They've created a job. That's right. Give us an example of a business that maybe you got them from being, like you said, like just really that self-employed person within their business to create something scalable and sellable. Uh, what, what kind of example do you have of that where they're able to do that and, and have a good success with it? Yeah, so we're working on one right now. It's a graphics company that specializes in graphics for first responders. So they do vehicle wraps. I partnered with them. They had never broke a million. They never broke a million. Huh. Now it's a multi-million dollar company. We're all on track to sell this company for about 10 to 15 million in the next few years. Wow. So they yeah. never broke a million dollars revenue for the year. And now they're going to even sell for 10 to $15 million as of today. No, not as of today. They're not worth 10 to 15 million today, but they will be in the next three years. Still, that's, yeah. a, that's pretty impressive. That's there incredible. You go. That's an example. Yeah. That's how I started the Road to Exit Rich program because- so many people, so many business owners want to sell their business. Their business is not sellable. I mean, I had a dental lab call us the other day, been in business for 50 years, one dentist, three dental hygienists. The dental hygienists are his daughters. <laughs> and I said, listen, yep. I can sell your business, but I can't maximize value because the buyer is going to want to mitigate risk. So they're going to pay less, plus they're going to have creative financing. And they're going to require you to stay on for two to three years. And he said, That's well, right. honey, we're not staying. I said, well, then honey, you're not selling. <laughs> and so this happens over and over and over again, where again, mm -hmm. business owners don't have a job. That's why 80% of the business, businesses are not selling. You know, and what Exit Rich is, is really a huge wake-up call for business owners to say, hey, listen, pay attention. Your business is your most valuable asset. You got you have to start planning for your exit today because it used to be that we were passed in our business from generation to generation. That doesn't happen anymore. Less than five percent mm -hmm. of all businesses are passed to the next generation because kids don't want your business. They've seen how many hours you work. They see that you give up weekends. They see that you haven't taken a vacation. They see that you mess all their games. They don't want your business. Plus, they mm -hmm. want to go out and create their own masterpiece. That's so, so true. So yeah. true. And the other reason I wrote Exit Rich is because if you think about it, there's 30.2 million businesses in the United States employing over half the U.S. workforce. Mm -hmm. 
When we lose a business, now remember, 70% of businesses are going out of business and been in business for 10 years or longer. That's out of 76, that's out of 26 million businesses. When you lose a business, what do we lose? We lose jobs. Yep. But when you lose jobs, what do we lose? We lose spending power. They start go, they stop going out to eat. They stop buying things. Then you have more businesses that go out of business. It's a domino effect. So that's why I wrote Exit Rich. It's really my passion to save these businesses from going out of business. Oh, I love it. You know, and, and I know you hit some people square between the eyes, especially where we have a lot of chiropractors and dentists following us too. So uh, my husband's I know you're a chiropractor. A... My husband's a chiropractor. My husband's a chiropractor. Oh, really? Yeah, I love my chiropractors. I love my dentists, but these are service businesses. Mm -hmm. And many of them are jobs. If the chiropractor doesn't go to work, he doesn't get paid. If the dentist doesn't right. go to work, like in my case of uh, the dentist with the three dollars, this hygienist, he doesn't get paid. And when you try to sell your business, you have to stay on for two to three years because when you leave, the patients leave. So my husband and I, a long time ago, we decided to build a business, not a job. So we have we have multiple locations, multidisciplinary centers with, with MDs and DCs. And now my husband works on the business. He doesn't do any adjustments. So he can take off for two or three months and the business will run without him. That's what we're trying to get business owners to do. That's the dream that I know every business owner wants. And they want that freedom. They didn't go into just to have a big job with a good paycheck. They wanted real freedom to go with that too. Sometimes I got a big job without a good paycheck. <laughs> that's right. Have both. Why not have your cake and eat it too, right? Yeah. So that's, that's, yes, we don't go into business. We don't go into business to, to not make money and not have free time, but yet that's what's happening over and over and over again. So that's why Exit Rich is really so important for every business owner to read because there's a better way. There's a better way to build your widget <laughs> to where you can sell it for maximum value. And here's the bottom line. Even if you never sell it, guess what you have? You have a better business that mm -hmm. operates without you that's extremely profitable. And that's what, exactly. the, six feet, that's what the six feet are all about. Love it. Well, Michelle, how, how would they be able to get access to this book again? Like you said, before the end of May, they can get for $2.99. Where can they find that? Yeah, so so you can get the print anywhere, but the print is $25. That's on Amazon, Barnes and Noble. It's in all the Hudson stores in mm -hmm. every airport. Um, the audio version is the promotion we're running right now. It's $2.99 for just the month of May. They can go to Amazon and get that on Audible. They can go to Apple. They can go to Barnes and Noble. You know, they can go wherever they buy their favorite audio book from. And again, $2.99. And let me sweeten the pot a little bit more. Because when you buy the audio book, we're also going to give you a lifetime membership to the Exit Rich Book Club. You know, this is a movement. This is not just a book. It's a movement to get businesses to operate, you know, so much more efficient so that business owners can finally enjoy their life. And so it's a movement. So the Exit Rich Club has video content training on all these different techniques and strategies that I've been teaching about in, in the trenches for the last 20 years. Plus we have documents, documents to operate your business, like sample employee handbooks, not competes, policy and procedure manuals, all these things that you should have in your business. Most business owners don't have them. And That's then so documents true. to sell your business, like sample prospectuses, Sample LOIs, letter of intent, purchase agreements, due diligence checklists, closing docs. There are hundreds upon hundreds of documents to operate and sell you a company that you can upload at Solid Tucker Academy when you buy the Exit Rich audiobook. You just have to email us at marketingatsolidtucker.com. These documents are worth over $50,000. We're going to give you that with the membership and buying the audio version for $2.99. Wow. <laughs> that's very generous. <laughs> that's it. Dude, that's two nine two dollars ninety nine cents, not two hundred ninety nine thousand or two hundred ninety nine bucks. That's that's awesome. So, uh, Michelle, very generous. Thank you so much for coming on today. Uh, everybody, we'll put that in the show notes. Uh, make sure you can get access to those things because man, that's that's uh, hard to want to pass up. Anybody who's a business owner needs to be able to have a way to be able to maximize and then be able to really find a way to exit rich as uh, Michelle has so told us. So Michelle, uh, again, thank you for your time today. Thank you. I encourage everyone to listen to my podcast, Exit Rich, because it's all about million dollar, billion dollar exits. You can go to SalarTucker.com or you can follow me on social media, Michelle Salar Tucker. 
Awesome. Well, guys, we'll have that in the show notes for you, but be sure to check that out. Again, this is not just about a podcast you listen to and then you just move on with your life. This is about something you listen to, apply and implement so that you can then change your life. So guys, I invite you to make it a wonderful and prosperous week and we'll talk to you later. Visit us online at moneyripples.com for more resources to help you fix money leaks and get your money working harder for you now. Now.